I'm Kate and I'm here with a whole bunch of stuff Cezanne related. Um, I got a couple orders in, I have an unboxing, and I got a couple orders in from their pre-spring collection. Their main collection isn't out yet, which is crazy because it's all amazing so far. Um, but yeah, so I have a dress, a jumper, um, a blouse, and I have some shoes that I'm going to unbox. I also have some really good shopping tips. I know a little bit of French because I live in Canada and so through their Instagram and all these all these questions I have like sleuthed out some really good tips for you all and I'm gonna have that at the end I'm actually just gonna get right to the unboxing because I can't wait any longer so in my hands I have a pair of shoes I'm very excited about I've actually never ordered um, Cezanne shoes before I've gotten a bunch of their tops a couple of dresses I've been to their New York and Paris locations and I've ordered online from them so I'm kind of I'm like, I'm an expert, but I'm just like, I'm really obsessed and I love them so much. And this is my first pair of uh, shoes. So let's see what they look like. I'm going to talk about the sizing as I'm opening this and the duty. So I live in Canada and the duty is actually like astronomical. I sent this dress to my husband who was um, in Manchester um, over the weekend to basically to avoid duty, which I did. So I'm thankful for that. But I had to reorder the size of shoes because French sizes... And European size shoes aren't the same. Um, they're off by one number, which is super silly. But so when I thought I was ordering a Euro size 38 in these shoes, I was actually ordering a French size 39, and it was a size too small. I'm usually a size eight for reference. I'm a size seven and a half, but I go up to an eight. And in the description for these shoes, they said if you're between sizes to go up a size. So these should be a size eight, size eight American, size 38 Euro, size 39 French. That's how it translates. So, loud noises, let's fast forward through this part. Okay, so I love this. First of all, I have to say I love this print so much and I hope that they someday sell it. Um, I saw someone online, if you check the hashtags, um, the Cezanne hashtag, which is hashtag Cezanne, um, you'll see that someone framed this and I think that's such a good idea and I think I'm gonna do that too. So. It's absolutely stunning. Um, I used to be a graphic designer and um, a hand letterer, so I really appreciate this beautiful, beautiful detail um, with this collection. Okay, ah, here's the shoes, let's go. <sighs> okay, so in it you get, this is all in French, petite pin. Let's see what this, what this is. Oh, that's really nice. This looks like a little bit of the outsole feels like um, to replace it with. So take it to your shoe person who will replace that for you. Interesting. Cool. I've never had that before. Um, also a dust bag for the shoes. And ah, oh, I see a glimpse. These have a little metallic on them. So they're so, so cute. I'm so excited. <sighs> These are the Suzanne flats. The Suzanne flat comes in four different colors. It comes in this, which is the ochre multi. Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. So this is the ochre multi. It comes in a pink multi, and then it comes in like a cognac brown all leather version. And then it comes in a like black suede with a little bit of gold um, on the edges. So this is actually sold out this color. Um, Again, I have a way, like a secret for when they like restock at the very end of this video. So maybe you'll get a hands on it, your hands on it, um, if this is what you're looking for. But oh, they're just so gorgeous. There's like a peep toe. They have, I, I call them goat suede. So they have goat suede all over and then like metallic um, leather, it looks like, treated leather. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this color. Everything in my wardrobe, <laughs> you'll see is this, so this is the perfect shoe to go with everything. Um, and it's still interesting, so I'm really excited to try these on. Oh yeah, I have to try these on and make sure that they fit. So, let's see what they say. Yeah, 39. They look a bit big, so we'll, uh, we'll get going here. They're too big. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm absolutely heartbroken. Ugh, what happened was, um, 
Wes, my husband, I had sent him this dress and I had actually sent him this size, um, this shoe in a 38. So I had ordered the what I had thought was the wrong size shoe. And then I made him return it while he was over there. Um, I wasn't there to try on the shoe because in the description it says to go up a size. And they're too big. They're about a half size too big. Um, I don't, I might be able to cancel my return. It's 10 o'clock their time, so it's too late to even um, get a response for them. Um, no, <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> Here, I'll, uh, I'll show you what they look like on. Okay, so these are them. They're beautiful, but yeah, they're just loose. I don't know if there's something my shoe guy can do. Ugh, but I can't believe it. I might be able to cancel my return, but again, I'll have to pay duty on, like, the new shoes that come in, so. Oh, what do I do? And there's no free returns from Canada. Oh, no. Oh no, they're so pretty. Well, I'm not sure what to do with the shoes. Um, I'll see what I can um, get done locally. I think that might be the best option because I do get charged duty for ordering into Canada. Um, otherwise, I yeah, I will show you what I got that I love, um, what else I got in my order, um, and that fit me properly. So the first thing I got, which I was really excited about, was the Crepin Jumper. And it looks, it's C-R-E-P-I-N, so it looks like Creepin, um, but apparently it is a noble French surname. So it's something romantic, like Creepin, like that's how you're supposed to pronounce it. But it has, the, it's this beautiful 50% um, wool, 50% cotton uh, jumper with diagonal stripes. And what's nice is um, what I can show you that they didn't have on the model because it was tucked into her jeans is that it has this navy band that goes along all through the back. So what they said on the description is they had it styled so that the model was wearing this in the front, but they said that you can wear this in the front, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I absolutely love it both ways. I usually, um, usually when something is like called versatile and you can wear it like reversible or something, I usually prefer one way. But I love this, and their other blouse, I have this from them too, it's called the line blouse. This is only available in white right now. Oh no, it's available in red and white. So anyway, I have this line blouse and it is reversible too. So you can wear that both ways. I really love that about Cezanne. Um, their knitwear, this is the first time I'm getting a sweater from them. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to keep it on the hanger. This is just to show you all. But they're, I think they're known for having two-sided sweaters like this. I think this is a really cool thing. My favorite part, okay. My favorite part is I got this um, How to Care for Your Knitwear um, paper with this and it's it says, um, tells you to stay calm and do not panic in it. Uh, it says, if you should happen to notice any fluff that comes off the item, stay calm. It is a perfectly natural process. And then it says, finally, sometimes jewelry and other accessories can become attached to the fibers. If this should happen to you, do not panic. I can only imagine, I don't know if this is because maybe the translation is different, but I can only imagine like the people panicking, calling them up and being like, there's fluff on my sweater. I think this is so funny and do not panic, it's so funny. Anyway, I absolutely love this. I'll show you how I style it. Um, it is so beautiful. They say they're not getting this back in stock. If you ask them on Instagram, they will tell you. Um, they're actually really in tune with their stock and they will tell you what's gonna happen with it. Um, so unfortunately, I don't think this is coming in stock, but take a look at their sweaters. I know someone who bought the Derek sweater and it is. it has mohair in it, kid mohair, and she says it was very itchy. So just be aware of the contents. If it is 50% wool, 50% cotton, this is the softest sweater ever. I absolutely love it. If it has kid mohair in it and you're sensitive to itchiness, um, just be advised that that might happen, that you might itch from it. So there's a Crippen sweater. And then in that same order, I got this beautiful Abby blouse. So this is, oh, this is so beautiful. So this is called the Cashmere Print. And then you can see the sleeve has this really beautiful dotted um, fringe to it. And the back has the buttons. I'll show you how I style this too. I really like it tucked into high-waisted jeans. But I'll also show you the problem I have with this one, which is actually very minor, is the sleeves will fall down. Um, and that actually happens a lot, just to me personally. So I will um, 
just get my tailor to fix it. There's a seam right here. They can just fix that super easily. Um, and I get it. Yeah, I get that fixed a lot, but this is beautiful. This is the yeah cashmere print, but they also have another cashmere print and that's what this dress is in, and they call it the pink and green cashmere print and it's a completely different fabric. So this is the Andrew dress and you can tell that they're very different, um, but they're both called a cashmere print. I'm wondering if it's the same, like it's a, if it's considered like a paisley because that's what it kind of looks like. But this is absolutely beautiful. I got this, so my husband arrived with this and it's so beautiful and I was so happy with it and I tried it on with like eight different things. So I'm gonna make a video just on styling this dress or like floral dresses, something for spring because it's so surprisingly versatile and I'm gonna wear it to a wedding coming up. It's so pretty, but yeah, you can dress it down so easily. I think it's just gonna be great. And it goes really, it looks really cute with the bow tied up, um, which they don't show on the model. This dress also comes in a red and white print. Like it's a really beautiful classic print. I got a 36 in this, which is a size four um, uh, US sizes. And then this is also a size 36, size four. I would say this is a little, this fits a little snugly um, because just so that it stays up because it's around this part of you. Um, when the strap falls down, there's no way that it'll like all fall off of me. So it's snug enough. So I would say maybe it's a perfect fit. Maybe it's a little small on the small side. So absolutely love these ones. So let's get down to the shopping tips I have for you. So my main tip is that their online returns go up on Wednesdays. Um, morning at 10 a.m. their time, which is actually 5 a.m. like New York, Toronto time right now with, I don't think they've had their time change. So keep an eye on that. Um, but what I notice on their Instagram, they answer you fairly quickly and they're really good with telling you what's in stock, what's coming back into stock, if there's more colors, etc. So if you have a question, and they'll answer you in English if you only speak English. Um, and yeah, so just ask them whatever you want and they, they will let you know. Like I asked them if the, cre the crepe and sweater was coming back in stock and they said no. Um, but they also said for a lot of the, the shirts that aren't coming back in stock, they said to rely on the customer returns, which go online. Wednesdays at 10 a.m. So if there's something that you so, that is sold out that you love, wake up at 5 a.m. <laughs> and go online and see if it is available. Um, that's my best tip for that. Um, otherwise, when you go shopping, when they do their new releases, I was up, I actually happened to be up really early. I wasn't too worried about it because I didn't realize how quickly Cezanne return, like sells out. But I was up really early because my kids couldn't sleep and so I was shopping on, I was online shopping at 4 a.m. for their uh, pre-spring collection and everything just like froze like it was so busy that this like the site completely shut down which is crazy but what they do is they have a 30 minute time clock on your cart so if you are shopping and in 30 minutes your item is still in your cart and you haven't purchased it yet they're gonna put it back on um, in stock so if you um, want to shop during those releases um, it's maybe worth it to get up on time. We'll see like if your computer cra the site crashes again But otherwise just wait the 30 minutes until like after the release and see if your item is back on On like the floor uh, in stock. Otherwise my other tip is just ask them on Instagram um, I think a lot of brands like their social media accounts are so separate from What's actually happening in the store and in stock, but Cezanne is really together in that they will tell you exactly um like what's gonna happen or um, they'll say we're not, a lot A lot of the cute fra um, return, like replies that they have are, we're not safe from surprise, which is really cute. So um, they don't sometimes 100% know, but a lot of the times they will tell you yes or no, or wait, or this is coming up, etc. Yeah, otherwise look for these on Wednesday because the right size that I returned <laughs> is going up. Um, and I hope this is helpful. If this is helpful for you, um, subscribe and like this video. I am going to New York in a month, so I'm going to do another one of these. Cezanne is something that I just, I love that brand, so I'm going to continue buying their stuff and I will do Cezanne specific, um, videos. Um, I also did a video styling this shirt and yeah, look for the one for this dress. This is the Oscar jersey. It comes in navy and white and then they have, it has this really cute tie detail. And then they have a Loic version, which is the, it's called the Loic and has buttons up here and it's navy and um, burgundy. So that's really cute. And I think that's like their new spring version of it. 
Um, otherwise, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, please cross your fingers that I can get this fixed. And if you have any tips, actually, that'd be amazing. I would love to hear that. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.